Yes, I bless everyone. I bless everyone. And I thank God for another opportunity today. Yes, I'm not in a sound mind as I'm delivering this message. If you look at my face, you will discover that I speak to you like a wounded lion. I have uh, gotten a series of uh, reports from abroad, even those in Nigeria here, other parts of Africa, concerning a very challenging issue that puts so many homes in shambles that put so many homes in disarray, have received series of reports. And I want to speak briefly about infidelity, infidelity, immorality. I know that moral etiquette is now a forgotten issue. It's no longer an issue. It's no longer in school curriculum. Moral etiquette. Human beings are living like dogs. Some men will go to the altar, take an oath before the altar of God that this woman is my wife, this man is my husband. And you know too well that you will not keep that oath. And you violate it thinking that you will go free. So many homes have scattered because of immorality. And I want to ask you, madam, you are leaving your husband to go outside to have an affair, a stramarital affair with another man. Compromising the oath, marital oath you took on the altar. If that oath was taken in Shrine, this question is for men and women. Will you violate it? Is it because you take God's mercy and the patience for granted? If you have taken this oath at the shrine, will you violate it? How is it unthinkable that because of three minutes, it is unthinkable because of three minutes, nonsensical pleasure, you are destroying your marriage. You are putting your life in jeopardy because of three minutes. Some people are in their graves today because of that. You have issue with your ex. You have not settled it and you got married. You put your life and the life of your wife in danger. You know you have so many issues. Unsettled issues. But I want to say this. Only the truth will set you free. Only the truth will set you free. There are some people, their job is to go around... You know, recording secretly the nude video and the pictures of some men. Some ladies are doing that. So whenever you have an affair with a man, a married man, you now install camera secretly in a hotel room, record his nakedness on video. Then use it to extort money from him. I know so many men that called me. They are dying in silence. And this had let some people shed blood. So many headless bodies and so many lifeless bodies you see. Who knew where they committed the crime? Who knew the person they offended? But I don't support that. So every time you call the man, you need one million, you need two million. If he said he, he doesn't have, then you threaten him that you will send the nude picture to the public domain. So you recorded it intentionally to connect a pipe to be sucking money from him. And you are holding so many men hostage. So many of them. The same thing to some boys who are going to sugar mummies. I'm telling you what is happening now. Many called me telling me this. They are dying in silence. The only thought that comes in them is to eliminate this fellow and be free. But when you kill, your crime, you know, is now compounded. So what will it profit you to stripe yourself naked before another man? I'm asking your wife. If you, if another man has access to your nakedness, what a special thing do you have for your husband? The same thing to a married man. When you stripe yourself naked before another woman, what special package do you have for your wife? 
And you people are doing this with a shameless boldness. You don't ask yourself a question. After doing that, you wear, you know, a very nice clothes and you are... Somebody is holding your naked picture. You are not picture. You are not video somewhere. Why do you put your life in danger? Why do you put your life in, in a trap? Why do you make yourself available for Satan to use you for destruction? You young lady that go after some people's husbands. Remember, you will get married. Yes, you will get married. And the cry of that woman you go after, you are a psychic to the husband. The cry of that woman will never, never allow you to go free. Conscience is an open wound. You know what I'm saying. And you know I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Conscience is an open wound. And as a man, you are going after somebody's daughter as a side chick. Remember you have a girl as a daughter. When somebody comes after your daughter that way for destruction, to defraud her, how will you feel? That is the trending issue now. Side chick, side cock, side hen, side this, side that. And you are playing with the fire. And the Holy Spirit says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, 17, If you destroy this temple, I will destroy you. And I do tell people, Holy Spirit is not your age grade. Even our Lord Jesus said that when you offend the Father or He Himself, that they may be lenient. But if you offend the Holy Spirit, it's unforgivable. So He told us beforehand in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, 17. If you destroy this temple, I, the, whole, the subject I was mentioned there, will destroy you. And you don't see that danger coming. Because of three minutes. That Samson destroyed himself. Samson that built power for how many years? Over 20, 30 years. And because of three minutes stupid and the nonsensical pleasure. Three minutes! A woman who was not a barber. Grab Samson's hair. Not with a clipper. He, she gave Samson undesirable haircuts. One, she was not a barber. Two, she didn't do that with a clipper. And they handed over Samson to the Philistines. They pluck out his eyes. So many men are suffering in their businesses. No joy in their home. No peace. Just because of psychic. Because of rotten lifestyle. The same thing with so many women. One woman who confessed to me that uh, most of the women now, especially those who are rich, who are looking for sugar boy to parade with, that they need some men who are hard, who take drugs, you know, the people that are driving tankers, those barrel pushers, those who can handle them. Handle what? You are a caretaker to this temple. Handle what? Is there any cup or belt they will give you? Handle what? That's the only thing you think. You don't think how to beautify your soul. How to make your life life likable before God and man. You don't think of that. So that whenever somebody comes across you, the person will perceive the aroma and the fragrance of life, of the Holy Spirit. You are now holding solidarity to the devil. You are going to church, but you have something, sacrament. You have covenant with Satan because of immorality. And Bible says that sin of immorality is the only sin against the body. Every other sin is outside the body. But the only sin against this temple that destroyed, that renders Holy Spirit homeless, is sin against a sin, a sin, a sin of immorality, sexual immorality. You go out to cheat on your wife. You go out to cheat on your husband. And the woman, listen, when your husband buys a shoe of four thousand naira for you, the one he had the money, and there's somebody who is living on your street, or an old friend, or ex friend, or classmate. Now bought a shoe of 20000 for you. The one your husband doesn't have. Be contented. When you begin to collect gifts, your husband cannot afford. Ask yourself a question. Even in the office is where you work. And you are working with and with. As a young lady. You know that your manager is married. You are endangering your life. Okay, you cannot pay salary unless they submit themselves. You cannot give promotion unless you sleep with somebody's wife. You are playing with the fire. God is not happy with you. God is angry with you. Bible says in Psalm 7 11 that God is angry with a sinner every day. Every day. If your cup remains one drop for you to give, for, give up, do you know? One drop. Some people will depart this earth today. Some left yesterday. Some will live tomorrow. How do you arrange your life? You are living like a dog. 
That's what Bible says. Some people are dogs because of sexual immorality. That's why some people gave birth to children they did not know. There was a man who bought granite from one small year. He impregnated the lady in Lagos and they ran away. Came back to East. Then one girl was passing by and he bought granite from the girl. He didn't know that the girl was her, his daughter. After some years, things unraveled. And he reflected and asked her whether she was, you know, carrying granite around, hawking granite. The girl said yes. He kept quiet. His body grew cold. Some people passed their daughter, their children, by the side of the road. They didn't know. You begin to deposit children any place you see. When you impregnate a lady, you run away. Any curse they place on you will follow you. If you go with somebody's husband and the woman cries, let me tell you, the spirit that will come after, you will be running when nothing pursues you. Because the voice of that, once she is innocent, the voice of that woman will keep on crying to God. Because you are a covenant breaker. You are a destroyer as a woman, as a lady. You as a husband that violate the oath. Bible says in Hebrew 10, 31, how horrifying will it be for one to fall in the hands of Almighty God? A young lady, you dress half naked, you come out to seduce men. You are not ready for marriage. You are just out for destruction. You are on a mission, dangerous mission. That's why I ask some ladies, you, start, you, you go inside the bathroom and lock the door and you take your bath. After bathing, you come out and they dress half naked. Then why did you lock the door of that bathroom? Why? After bathing, you, you, you dress half naked. Why did you lock the door? You would have taken bath in the open. I remember the story that happened in the northern, in Bruno State. I went for a crusade. And I saw a young man that uh, came. A young man came and uh, reported uh, the case of a friend. You know, his friend had issue with the wife. Listen very well. I will just summarize with this story. Had issue with the wife and decided not to go home. I have acted this in one of my messages, Highway to the Grave. And this message I'm preaching now very briefly is four kilometers to hell. That is where I see all these people I mentioned heading to. Four kilometers to hell. If sugar-coated but bitter seed. That is what sexual immorality is. Sugar-coated but bitter seed. So this guy, in order to retaliate because of what the wife did, he went and they carried a prostitute. They went to a hotel and he asked the prostitute how much a night. The lady said 2,000 naira. In those days, it was a very big money. It happened early 2,000. So things happen. At times you see missing people, you don't know the reason. So this guy took the lady to a hotel. After the mess, after they messed up themselves in the night, in the morning, he dressed up and gave the lady 1,000. The lady said, no, my money is 2,000 naira. I told you in the night before we came to this place. The guy said, you know what, it, what it, it, it takes to make money? Money is not easy to come by. You mentioned 2,000. It was very easy in your mouth. My friend, this is what, what 1,000 is what I have. The lady got annoyed and said, don't drag issues with me. What I told you was 2,000. That is what you will pay. The guy said he will not do it. He opened the door to go out. The, guy, the lady shouted his name. Looking back, she saw, he saw a skeleton and the skeleton disappeared. So the skeleton now turned into a normal human being again. True life story, I'm telling you. The guy and I knew that there was a problem. He knew there was a danger. He now came back for reconciliation to pay the money. The lady now rejected the 2000. Say, okay, because of the issues you want to have with me, I am out for you now. He said, please, I'm not, I'm not, out, I'm not out for trouble. Just take your money. The lady said, no. The guy increase that money to 5,000, 10, 20,000 naira. That moment, the lady rejected the money. The only condition she gave this young man that left the wife at home just to mess up himself. The lady wrote a number, an address on a paper, and they gave the guy, told him, bring this 2,000 naira tomorrow. Let it not exceed 24 hours 
on this particular address. She walks out through the door. The guy rushed her when she saw that the address was cemetery. A true life story. Immediately the guy walked out through the door. She did, he did not see the lady again. The lady had gone. She disappeared. He had issue with the spirits. Somebody from graveyard. Now, he get, the, the, the guy was given 24 hours to pay the money because of three minutes. Three minutes romantic, nonsensical, stupid and rotten pleasure. Look at the consequences now. So the guy told the mom because his father was against his wayward life. So he told his mom the horrible encounter he had. He, the mom and I connected a family friend who drove them to that place. They got to cemetery. The lady told him to be there, 1212. Ask every custodian of cemetery what happened in graveyard at 1212. So they appeared there. So the lady now, the guy asked the custodian, please look at what I entered into. The custodian of cemetery now asked him to search for the number. From 12 midnight, before this guy came out, Horrible noises, horrible encounters and experiences. It wasn't funny. Because of three minutes, he saw the grave around few minutes to 4 a.m., almost four hours. Going from grave to grave with a torchlight. From grave to grave, searching the graves. He now saw the place and they kept the money. Turning his back, he fell down. They took him to hospital. He was in the hospital for three months, suffering spiritual case, not medical case. Doctors diagnosed, the computer discovered nothing. Doctor can only handle medical cases. When a doctor handles a spiritual case, know that God used that doctor on that angle. Or the doctor is also spiritual, because some doctors are prayerful. They also depend on God while they give you treatment. So that was how this guy stayed in the hospital until that sickness reduced the family to abject poverty. Come and see where his wife was suffering. The wife never knew what the husband did. You want to revenge the issue you have with your wife. And the only thing you can do is to have an affair, cheat on her. Then woman, you want to carry out revenge against your husband. So what you think is to cheat on him. Look at you. This was a true life story, I told you. The guy died after three months. No money to buy a casket. No money to bury him. There was no befitting burial. And that three months ago was the last time he saw a lady of nakedness. He saw the nakedness of a woman. That three months ago. So why did I share this story? Be very, very careful. Sexual immorality. Infidelity is a sin against God, against humanity. Fornication, the same thing as a young lady, as a young boy, you go after sugar mommy because of money. Look at you, look at your grave. This is four kilometers to her. As a young lady, you go after sugar daddy and the other woman is crying somewhere and you will get married. This is four kilometers to her. Or God, you are working with and with. Use your position as the boss, as the director. You mesmerize people's wives, you devote them, you use them as you know, to do what you like because of your temporal office. What is your guarantee that if you sleep tonight, you wake up tomorrow morning? Your life is in the hands of God. He can press the button of your life any day, any time. Be very, very careful. This is four kilometers to your grave. You are not far from your grave. That is my brief message this moment. Please share this to save souls. There is no gain in sexual immorality, infidelity. Bad tree can never be a good fruit. My name is Brother Paul Chibo. I urge you to share this video to save souls. Subscribe our YouTube channel, God's Agenda TV. Follow us on Facebook page. And the Facebook page is God's Agenda Production. Instagram, God's Agenda TV. As you share this, God will also enlarge your coast. Expand their blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do not let anyone deceive you with the money or whatever or job. Let the wisdom of God guide you. Ask God for wisdom. To whom brain is given, common sense is expected. Remain blessed. Visit our YouTube channel, God's Agenda TV, to watch all our inspirational videos. Remember to hit the notification button, subscribe, 
like and share. God's Agenda Production, your soul is our target. Agenda Production.